house on the hill Everybody wants a ski boat Everybody wants a big promotion at the end of the year Everybody wants a swimming pool in a big backyard A little more vacation On the beach, and I remember what it is to be. 
back together We were alive and free Holding hands on the beach And I remember what it is to be You and I remembering what it is to be So green This is a road trip. I didn't get it on video. I don't know if I made a great shot or not. It looked a little high, but there was a bunch of blood coming out. A bunch of blood. I saw it spraying out as he was running off. Rich, what'd you just do? Just shot road trip. Okay. <laughs> we got blood, right? Yeah. We got blood, blood. right here. We got, we got a bunch right of blood here. Let's go back to where you shot him and let's look at the real quick. I didn't make a perfect shot on him. That's okay. All right. This is a, a deer that we call road trip. Uh, he's a really pretty deer. Um, my dad. Got some really cool video of him last weekend when we had Emily up here. Um, me and Davis were hunting. And uh, so, but yesterday I was hunting over here in Hotel Happiness, this clover field that we've got him in right now. And it was a real pretty afternoon, real clear skies. And I've been texting my dad and he said, get ready Brooks, it's, it's crunch time. And a little saying that me and my dad have together is after the first owl hoots, you better get ready. And the last time he told me that was the previous deer that I killed in Illinois in the eighth grade, however many years ago that was. And the next time, the very next time he tells me that, road trip walks out about two minutes later. So that was that was really cool. Um, he walked out of these woods right here to my right, um, the far south end of the field. And there were some does up on the other end of the field and when he came out I, I thought I was going to get to video him for a little bit before hopefully getting a shot at him but he was he's right when he came out he saw those does over there and started heading that way so I stood up and got my bow ready and tried to get as, as much video as I could but it got to a certain point where I just had to decide you know decide on getting the best video possible and maybe risk not killing him or I go ahead and take this opportunity uh, that I have not gotten in a very long time so I'm, I'm so proud of him he's he's beautiful I just want to make sure that I, I say thank you to all the guys in the camp uh, for, for praying for me and for Davis I know Davis and Jacob and mom are paying for me to get it done and I want to thank Emily for coming up here with me last week. I wish I could have gotten it done while she was up here. Uh, that would have been that would have been awesome. But I'm I'm so excited to be able to kill a beautiful deer like this. Um, and then especially I want to thank my dad for for letting me hunt up here and uh, working so hard for me and Davis to be able to have a chance uh, at a deer like this. It means a lot to me that dad dad let me come up here and, and, and do this this is his main his main deal so thank you dad you're welcome bud. Um, I just feel so blessed to have the opportunity at a deer like this I know not many people ever do get a chance so I feel so blessed um, 
and I'm just I'm just speechless to be honest I'm so happy he's such a beautiful deer so yeah that's about it how we're always gonna be I see no friend on my timeline who had lately been on my mind We were close as blood If we sat down for a drink I think we'd forget all the stupid reasons we lost touch It was just because We're so young and free. 
free taking all the world together we were kids back then that's how we're always gonna be